Hey everybody, so if you've had a stroke and you've gone to occupational therapy or physical therapy, I'm sure you've heard about electrical stimulation or ESIM. So how much do you actually need to spend to get a good electrical stimulation machine at home? Well, that's what we're going to talk about today. So for those of you that don't know me, my name is Michelle. I had a stroke 12 years ago. Uh, but after I had a stroke, I also became a personal trainer and really, really interested in fitness and exercises and how I can improve my left hand and my, my left arm weakness with exercise. But today we're going to talk about ESIM, which is something that I talk a lot about. In fact, if you know a little bit about ESIM but are interested in some pad placements, then you can go to this video I'll link to in the description as well as above and you can learn some common pad placements but today we're going to talk about what kind of a machine you actually need and how much you really need to spend to get a good machine with great results so here we go okay, so when you go to buy your own machine ask your the physical therapist or your occupational therapist what they would recommend but I'll talk about a couple options today because you really don't need to spend as much as you think to get a good machine. So first I'll talk about the TENS unit, which is Transcutaneous Electrical Nerve Stimulation Machine. And now this one is specifically tar targeting these sensory nerves. The sensory nerves are responsible for sending pain signals to the brain. And this machine is actually helped to suppress those pain signals. So that would be a TENS unit. Now the NMES unit or electrical stimulation, sometimes those are ab abbreviated as NMES or EMS. And these are actually targeting the motor nerves, which are responsible for the movement. Now how this happens is through pad placement that you put on your arm, these electrical currents that go through the pads to the nerves will then make the physical contraction happen. Now normally those signals to the nerves would come from the brain but there's a disruption there due to the stroke and so what we do is send that current through the machine and that goes to the nerves then makes that movement happen that we're trying to work on. So that's how the actual machine works. Okay, so when I type in NMES, Electrical Stimulation Unit, I just want to go over the top few options with you guys. Now, the first one there is actually a sponsored post, and sometimes this can lead you in the right direction, but most of the time, this is just somebody who has some money and they want to put their product in front of your eyes, so don't be fooled. We need to read this description about all of these. Now, the first four that you'll see there Three of them are EMS units. One of them is just the TENS. So you really want to pay attention. Now, as I said, EMS is sometimes the abbreviation for an NMES. I would really recommend getting the one that actually says NMES unit. That's what I was told. That is the advice I will pass on to you. But again, please, please involve your therapist in the ones you choose because they're the ones who really know you, know what's working for you, and can help you find the right product for you. So the first few products that are listed there, it takes to the fourth one to get to a product in the $50 range. Now, one of them there is actually $265. Again, not even in NMES, which is what we really want to get. So it's going to take all the way down to the fifth, sixth, and seventh products for us to get to an NMES. And it's actually the eighth product that I want to recommend. You don't need fancy features for these. There are just three things that we really pay attention to with these machines. And I actually go over how the machine works better and how to set it up in a different video. Now, I'll go over how the machine actually works and what the different settings mean in a video that I'm going to link to down below. And then actually, I'll link to the one right here that actually talks about how I set mine up and the numbers I actually use given to me by my OT. So um, 
again, I want to talk about the pricing. We do not need to spend $200 on these things, guys. It is the help of an electrical simulation machine that you're going to get the repetitions needed to prevent atrophy, to work on those weaknesses that the stroke has left us with. And we need those repetitions, guys. It's going to be through that machine, the help the with the assistance. It's going to take the passive movement of our limbs and it's going to take that active movement with a brain function that we're actually thinking about the movements that is going to help us recover from the stroke and bypass that damaged part of the brain in my opinion you do not need to spend that 200 dollars on an electrical simulation machine spend the 50 this Belego, again, is a great machine. You got two terminals. I've only ever used one. It's got three different cycle patterns. I've only ever used one. But it's a great machine. It gives you exactly what you need when you are recovering from a stroke. And again, ask your therapist. This is just a great tool to have at home. It gives you that time to get the repetitions that we need and because again we need that home therapy as well as the in-session therapy with the therapist there i actually mark the set mark the patterns for each setting that i do on my arm so if i go into the therapy session and they move it around a little bit i will mark that one again and i'll figure out which one is best for me but again tangent the you you don't need to spend a hundred bucks here, guys. Just get your own machine at home. It's gonna help you with your therapy. And I'll link to this machine, this Belego machine, down below. I'll link to a couple more videos where I talk more about the EMS machines, and I'll also link to a couple of videos where I do some pattern place pad placement to show you different uh, contractions that we can make happen. I will also link to a great resource. It is the Axle Guard website, and they have a great education section that shows you a bunch of different pad placements. So that all those resources will be down below in the description. So again, my name is Michelle, and thanks so much for joining me for today's video. I hope you check out the next video, which is some more common pad placements that you can do for your electrical stimulation. Okay. Thanks for watching.